In front of us, we have a selection of electrical devices. Now, many of them you'll be familiar with, some maybe less so, but all of these things need electrical energy in order to operate. But the thing is that they use electrical energy from different places. In some cases, we need to plug them in. Now, around your home, you'll have seen sockets that you need to plug into. That is where the electricity comes from a big generation power station elsewhere. Whereas some of the items that you use will use batteries. Now, inside the car, for example, we can see that it has a place to store some AA cells. Those are batteries, but we, they need to get their energy from somewhere as well. Now, what I'd like you to do is think about what we've got here. We have a set of scales, a calculator, a radio, a computer with its power pack, a remote control car, a mobile phone, a lamp, a hairdryer, and a kettle. Which of these use batteries and which of these use the mains supply, the sockets that you plug into? You'll see that all of the items have now been rearranged. Not all of these have a direct correct answer. So if you've not got exactly this, that doesn't mean that you've got it wrong. Some of them are definitely battery operated. For example, here we have the scales. We know that there's batteries inside here. And your mobile phone requires a battery to operate. On this side, we've got the kettle, the lamp that clearly has a plug socket, and we have the hairdryer too. But in the middle, I've put a couple of items. I've put the radio and I've put the laptop. These items both operate in a way where sometimes operate from the mains supply. So let's have a think about why that might be. On he this side, we have items which are quite static. We put them in a place and we're going to use them there. In the case of the hairdryer and the kettle, they require a large amount of electrical energy. Anytime the electrical energy is going to be transformed into heat energy, that is going to require a high amount of energy. Whereas items such as a car don't require as much. So you tend to find that battery operated items use less energy. There's one major exception that you'll see these days, which is a car. Cars use a very large amount of electricity in order to move, unlike a remote control car. They have very, very high capacity batteries inside them. We can see that there's batteries here, and I showed you batteries in this earlier, and this allows us to transform electrical energy into movement. Essentially, what's happening when we charge a laptop is exactly the same as what, we ha what happens when we charge a car. And the important thing here is the other reason why you might want to use batteries. If I want to use my laptop, somewhere other than my desk. I want to store energy in it and then move around, the same as I would with my mobile phone. Some of you may have noticed I haven't mentioned the calculator yet. The calculator has a battery in it, but it also has a special thing at the top here. This is called a solar cell, and it changes light energy into electrical energy to allow the, the calculator to work. 